When you see the market flying in the face of endless negative articles about inflation, about the Fed, Ukraine, prospective earnings shortfalls, the Dow gaining 754 points, the S&P surging 2.76%, and the Nasdaq pulling 3.11%. Do you think the buyers haven't heard the bad news? You think they're in the dark about inflation or the Fed's rate hikes, the war in Ukraine? I feel like anyone who's paying attention got used to those stories months ago. In the same way Netflix could rally off a number tonight that we would have considered awful just six months ago. Yet every time I come out with just a little wee bit of optimism, I find myself roundly criticized for ignoring all sorts of obvious negatives that will cause the market to crash any day now. (laughs) We're told the Federal Reserve waited too long to tighten. And now, of course, inflation, unstoppable. We're told the president's too weak to stop Russia. We're told China will drag down the whole global economy with its endless lockdowns. Hey, I don't even dispute that stuff. But there's only so much the market can go down on the same stories. At the end of the day, none of these worries to me are systemic like the financial crisis was. And none of them, none of them are new. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.